Hi, Chalk Squad, it's Dylan. From the grave, it's Andrew. <laughs> from the grave i That's died so dark. okay <laughs> all right well you know what's not dark uh the episode you're about to listen to or maybe it is because here's the deal um the episode you're about to listen to was originally a uh, bonus episode of the show that was behind a paywall and as part of such it was not edited or censored or really anything <laughs> so i've gone ahead and marked it explicit for the public publishing it might not be but i figure we better cover our bases and uh yeah this, this, i'm not not gonna go through and re-listen to all of these to verify so just have fun with unedited off the cup probably drinking alcohol dylan yes. and andrew yeah. um because yeah it was a joy to make i hope it's a joy to listen to yeah <laughs> so anyways enjoy this guys Hello and welcome to Candid Commentaries, the bonus show in which Andrew and I uh, talk about the, the the animated show of Adventures in Odyssey that Here we, we are. love unequivocally. So much. Actually, I'm I do feel like I enjoy it. A oh good yeah, bit. yeah. No, there's 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 been some fun. It's a, we've had we've had episodes we've liked. Yeah. I had there was a lot early on that I was not particularly fond of, but it's gotten better. Mm-hmm. Um and this episode is the first one that is officially billed as the new adventures uh, oh the no new, like series or the whatever the reboot of the cartoon I don't I don't quite know what the deal is but there's the original video series which is all the ones we've seen up till now okay. and then there's the new video series which is the final 4 huh and they're different in some way I don't know maybe it'll be really apparent when we watch it um, but I just know from marketing materials that that's the case. It's really terrible 3D CGI. <laughs> <laughs> um, th- this episode that we're talking about is called The Last Days of Eugene Meltzner. Oh my stars. Which sounds uh, dark the Mortal and, Coil? And scary. Didn't they do this? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. Maybe they're, maybe they're doing an adaptation for the for the screen. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, although I think Eugene's canonically Christian in... Um, in the video series? At this point, I believe yeah, we've seen him pray or been requested to pray. <laughs> Anyways, not that the series is that Christian, but we're, <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about that while we watch the episode rather than right now, um, because that's the way this format works. So I'm going to press play in three, two, one, go. And we start with a warning screen, as all good things do. You don't want the FBI busting down our door. Ooh, a seven-star production. Okay, okay. Is that just like a Star of David thing? No, I mean, that has are... six. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I, well, I It would only make sense for a star to have an even number of points. What? A standard star has five points. You're like correct. I'm focus on the family persons. Okay. Oh, okay. New logo. So this is this is the new series. It's what? I, I want, is it a different production team? I I feel altogether. like it's gotta be. Interesting. And we are. Oh being, wow. Oh wow. We're Drug getting across the desert by ants. We're doing like uh, what, what's it called? Wakeboarding on yeah. sand by ants. Or is it is it just dirt? Is it just an ant hill? Uh, it's real hard to tell. I feel like it's sand though. So we got we got Dylan and his sister. And are these ants huge or are they small? I think they are small. I think they are small. I as think well. this is another weird use of the imagination station, and we got to do like a "Honey, I Shrunk the Kids" thing. <laughs> I was gonna go with Magic School Bus, but you know, uh, you know that would work too. That would work too. That is honestly, Magic School Bus is very much. I feel like how the imagination station's used in this series. Oh yeah, for oh. sure. Wait, and there's also a, a well, okay, the ants are giant. There it is, because that is a full size. Oh, oh, yep. oh kids are and small. now they're caught in a spider. No, but that that was like human sized. Like they ran into a fence and the True. Uh, it's a spider web web. <laughs> <laughs> that that, no, that, was a, that was a pretty funny joke, Dylan. Yeah, I like I like Dylan. <laughs> oh, and we got a giant spider. 
No, the spider's Eugene. There it is. Oh, wow. I saw the sprout on the top. Of his head. <laughs> oh, they are in big trouble. Whoop, whoa. So the animation models are clearly the same. Yes. But pretty much everything else is significant. Oh, no. Okay, we got a 3D animated Odyssey here. Oh, oh, oh wow, Andrew. Oh, I've seen this really before. You really called this, didn't you? I've seen this before. This is bad. I, oh my this is gosh. a little I concerning. forgot that this existed. Wow. Why, why, <sighs> why did they do this in 3D? Uh, it's probably cheaper. Is it? Maybe. Well, you're doing all hand-drawn to do one portion 3D. Oh, and now we're going to go into the book like we always do? Yep, yep, there's wow. the book. Classic logo. Make that 2D. Oh, hey, we got to pay attention, but I wonder if the uh, if we'll actually have the audio in both ears for, the, for this now, you know? It's doing well so far. Yeah, well, it's usually the talking that's the problem. Yeah. But I didn't notice that it was only in one no, ear, no, so that I seems didn't. good. Yeah. Directed by Robert Vernon. The last days of Eugene Meltzner. Poor guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's Connie. Oh, is it Bernard? Oh, I see a window washer. It's Bernard! <laughs> Do you have a bucket on your head? No. <laughs> Great. Well, now this episode can't be bad if Bernard's here. It's... It's got to be the best, and that's why I'm so sad that there's so little of it. <laughs> this is one of four. Yeah, and we don't know if he's in all of them. No, no. But if that, I mean, what if Tom shows up? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Bernard's nose is so droopy. <laughs> oh, okay. It's that's, like if that's... the banana nose got really old and just. <laughs> yeah, Connie, you should definitely take that. Take offense there. Oh. They go into. <laughs> 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 Not an ant farm. It's an ant, ant ranch. ranch. Hidden Valley Ant Ranch. <laughs> Bernard loves it. Oh, by the way, the audio is good. And not only am I hearing the voices in both ears, but they're panning it. Yeah, it's, it's a stereo really nice. mix. Like they finally fixed it. Oh, wow. Everyone's yelling and Bernard's just there. Wow. Yelling Eugene. <laughs> it does seem like you did, though. <laughs> <laughs> no more distractions. <gasps> it's weird. Here you go. <laughs> Is this Paul Herlinger? Yeah. Gotta it be. has been for yeah, a while. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this was just way too expensive for them to make. I feel like that's got to be the problem, right? Why they didn't keep doing it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is exponentially more expensive than the, than making an audio show. Well, and even wow. just in small capacities, like I feel like they could have. Hmm. 
Actually, that would be that would be probably the only conversation of interest I would want to have with somebody of like authority at Focus on the Family is what happened to the show. <laughs> what happened to the video? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I feel like that's just obvious. Is that it just wasn't a valuable market con- compared to the the audio show? Yeah, but, but you would think. Oh wow. It, Wait, Eugene is bringing scientists to Wit's End to show off the Imagination Station? That seems like a bad idea. Hmm. Aww. Gonna have a little father-son bonding? Oh, wow. Wait. Oh. Oh, great. So this literally are doing Magic School Bus. Mm-hmm. My word. But it's not happening in reality. It's just simulating. But they're going into Eugene's blood? Yeah. Wow. No, this is... This is... This might be illegal. <laughs> yeah, this is... I've seen this before. Also, they're just... They said the human bloodstream. This is just them going... Oh, okay. So this is like a simulation projected based off of the sample that it is Correct. His blood. And it's not like... Correct. They're, they're not, not actually in inside. Eugene's blood, because he is also there. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, and, and also, they're not in his blood on the slide. Correct. Like, they didn't shrink everything down. No. Huh. Yeah, it is kind of gross. I agree. Not a big blood fan. Hot take. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a big fan of blood. Uh, Very I important. I oh, I mean, I I like I like the existence of blood. I do not like looking at blood. Fair. It does make me uneasy sometimes if it's a really bad cut or something. Oh oh. Speaking of uneasy. Yeah. He gave too much blood. Did the, the micro simulator rewrite his brain? I can't quite tell if the micro simulator is its own thing or if it's a or if it's the imagination station I, modified. It seems like it's its own thing. Oh, that's fun. Good, Good for, for you, Bernard. You. Ooh. Wow. That is pretty good. I'm proud of you, Bernard. That's a lot of windows. <laughs> Mr. Walton. <laughs> Has she ever called him Mr. Walton before? It's been a while. That's so weird. <laughs> You're right, Bernard. Eugene always acts strange. Sick burn. What kind of milkshake do you think was just given to Bernard? Because it is concerningly yellow. It's got to be banana, right? Yeah, thumbs down. Oh, I mean, good banana milkshakes are... No. Good banana milkshakes don't exist. Do you, are you just not a fan of banana flavor? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Which I is like it? I like like a somewhat green banana. Yeah. Is very nice. Yeah. Um and I like like a banana chocolate chip like Stuff. muffin or yeah. cake or uh, yeah. bread, but yeah. like Yeah. As far as any other form of banana. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Squeezy. Uh-huh. Well, we were talking about it since since Connie's been mm-hmm. on that we're kind of we're kind of into the oh, the, the animated yeah. Connie Eugene. Well, wait, the new why Jean? is he remorseful? I don't know. What? Con- wait, excuse me. Connie Bowles, slightly uh. used.
Wow. And that's the thing that Wit said. <laughs> oh. He's oh. having an existential crisis because no. he went inside his own blood? When he was in the blood, he was running reports. He saw something that means, like, he's going to die. Like, oh! he saw, like, he's got leukemia or something in, in his blood samples. And so. Interesting. We've got a different coat on Eugene. This is un- yeah. unsettling. So. Wow. Wow. So this is the last days. Is he he misinterpreted data and now thinks he's dead? <laughs> wow. Good job, Bernard. That is quite the building. Wow. Tying. <laughs> Thanks for spelling it out for us, Bernard. You and I both know that we He's an orphan. <laughs> yeah. Wits End has their own children's fund? I mean, I... That's not surprising, but also. <laughs> what? What do, what do you think the odds are that um, that uh, Faustus returns during the last four episodes? We can hope. Like, I want, I want him to secretly have been pulling strings the whole time. I, I need Earl Bowen back. It wasn't even Earl Bowen. It was um someone. It was uh, what's his face? Jay doing um, an Earl Bowen impression. Yeah, to- Tony Jay. Witt's hair is a little m- more mullet than what I would like. I know. I was just going to say that. He looks a bit more ungroomed. Is Eugene going to make a sacrifice play here because he thinks he's going to die anyways? It won't be pretty. What a genius. You see, I've everything. All right, you're just calling Me yourself when I do the mastermind? Anything in Civ. <laughs> wow, what a dummy. Uh oh. It can't be. Eugene is dying. Eugene has ligma. Ligma? It's a fake disease. Oh. It's like an internet meme. Ah, okay. Like, there was rumors that uh, Ninja had ligma, like, four years ago. I don't know, when he was famous for playing Fortnite. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eugene is dying. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fail me now, little screwdriver. I love this for you him. You guys are all dead men, though. So, like, wow. good job, Eugene. That fool? <laughs> yeah. What has he done to suggest he's a fool? Tried to disarm the bomb. Oh, you're gonna drop it out the window onto Bernard's flammable, <laughs> flammable. liquids. <laughs> Bernard! Quick, take this bomb! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Bernard's gonna think Eugene's the madman with the bomb. Is he going to throw his flammable liquid at But Eugene? this is the Odyssey Commerce building. <laughs> Are <laughs> 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 you just going to throw this through the window? Oh, Bernard! Man. What a hero! <laughs> <gasps> oh, hit in the word. face with TNT. Bernard unconscious. And the timer is back on. Some, uh -huh. some disarm job, Eugene. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Eugene. Do better. <laughs> no, no, not his little trusty little screw. Throw the bomb. <laughs> okay, dude. You've got thirty seconds. Can you turn this off? Oh, Bernard. Run! Well, Bernard's gonna lose his contract, isn't he? It feels inevitable at this point. Sorry, I mean, Chuck Squad. My gain was way too high up this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. Hurry. Fake bomb? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Wow. Eugene pinning somebody I'd... to the wall. Mm hmm. Are you aroused? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There it oh. is. That's the problem. Bernard's been the problem this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Just some spark. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> I would have confessed my love. If only I had known. <laughs> Wit just quit. How is... I'm sorry. Eugene just quit. A bomb went off... The Odyssey Commerce building is in flames. How is apparently this the this right is, time? <laughs> no, this, but this is this is what Link Wainwright looks like, apparently. Good for you, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> you look stunning. Oh, thanks, buddy. Blonde hair and everything. Yeah. You know, and I've been hiding one. it hiding it under the hat all this time. That dark and handsome was just a masquerade in front of the true Aryan blue blood you wow, are. They know who the guy to arrest is? Mr. Mr. Belcher? Belcher? The entire town of Odyssey? Eugene looks currently like I do when I wake up in the morning. Like, that's that's a pretty... Minus the vest. That's That's a pretty safe bet. Bernard! <laughs> we also have a name. I love you, Bernard. 
Bernard. You... <laughs> News <laughs> chaffer. <laughs> Will Ryan uh, just absolutely losing his mind to save his second cousin from a, uh, being stranded on a building. Look, man, we all love Bernard. No, we do. Now, I'm not even related to him, so I can't imagine the kind of bond that Eugene has. <gasps> Maybe someday we'll talk about that on this very podcast. Oh, Eugene. The sample was contaminated. Oh, Dylan? The sample was. Contaminated it? Yeah, contaminated with the ant stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene's going to be fine, but he's. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I it's like that like... one of these guys looks like a superhero and the other is Eugene. None of wow. them are, are like. You know, first responder professionals. We have a reporter and Eugene and trying just, to save the window washer jumping, stranded on a burning building. Jumped off a chopper? Oh, look at those red converse. Uh huh. Slide into the rescue. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's what I say about every mass shooting. You people shooter upper. <laughs> that was dark, Andrew. I didn't need that. Oh, oh, wow. Of course. I'm glad to see the strata flyers still around. Yeah, that dough totally could have been used by now. Like, I feel like as soon as there was a no, building on fire, no, Richard jumped in the strata flyer, right? Yeah, or maybe he did. Yeah, they they shouldn't even have a fire department. They no, should just have the, the strata strata flyer. <laughs> wow, this is high drama. This is incredible. This is I, so good. Has this Odyssey is... ever gotten this dramatic? Oh, not what? with such color. <laughs> <laughs> it does so much for Wit to be able to tell that he's wearing a maroon sweater. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. Nope, there it is. Nope, go Eugene's gonna die. Go, go, you do it. That would be wild. If they killed off Eugene in yeah. the show. <laughs> if... <laughs> that would be insane. What if they do, what if they, what if this is how Eugene dies in, now that Will Ryan has passed? <laughs> so just like, we're gonna remake this as an audio show. We're gonna bring... <laughs> Pushes him off. He'll be safe. <laughs> He's just sitting there waiting to die. I mean, it's sweet. Yeah, no, it is. But, like, also, if he, if only one was going to fit, he should save Bernard. <laughs> It's an insect disease. <laughs> He's gonna scream. Get me out of here. Oh, that was great. Oh, I saw it coming. Well done. So glad. Get me Get out, out of here. here. <gasps> oh wow, my word. I love this. Are we really? Yo, yeah. I'm so glad we introduced Bernard for this. Dark Knight ain't got shit on but this. But also, right, they're... <laughs> oh, they're so... They're so presumptuous that, like, people will have already seen... <laughs> Odyssey. Wow, you could have just jumped the whole time, Bernard. <laughs> people will have already been, like, listening to Odyssey. Like, at one point, this show kind of existed as, like, an introduction to Odyssey. I feel like it yeah. does not anymore. No, no. Which, thank God, it's so much better now. <laughs> I can hear out of both ears. Whoa. You got a Medal of Valor, Eugene. I feel like that should come up more often.
please sing a song on the ukulele. Oh my word, you're so right. If he doesn't strum a ukulele in, like, appreciation. Yeah. I'm watching with bated breath. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. seem like we're gonna get it. But we could get it as a punchline at the end, which I'd be okay with. I'm just, yeah. And now a song to express my gratitude, or my gratitude would best be described in a song. Mm. Oh, that big old nose going to work. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He oh, does know yeah. it, Connie. We know it. Awooga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Andrew. We're getting it. <laughs> Ukulele. Oh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I miss Will Ryan so much. Yeah. This really does feel like it was written by Odyssey people, even though it was not. Wow. Yeah, based on it, created yeah. by Phil Lawler. Too. Yeah, but it's still it's still written by Robert Vernon. Yeah. But apparently he's got, you know, an idea he now. He consulted Paul McCusker <laughs> once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was stunning. <laughs> I liked every every part of that. I'm so sad that there's not more of it. <laughs> I think that Odyssey is just so stupid for not trying to put out more cartoon content in the universe. That's just me, though. Now, Maybe they I don't have the money. Yeah. There's no way this makes the money. Um... More so than the club? I mean, I don't know. I feel like they put out... Unless they are just... Like, if they have no... Like, literally no profit margins, which maybe they don't. I don't know. Right. I uh, am, I imagine that... Like, something like this... Like, yeah, does not make them money. I yeah. could I could be wrong. But, like, that is very much my impression. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know. I'm just, with all of the other stuff that they put out through the club, I'm surprised they don't put out a video series. Because they've got comic strips. They've got special episodes. But video is so expensive to produce. Yeah. Yeah. Like, compared to all of that stuff. Yeah. It is, you. it's the cost of all those things more. Yeah. And, like, they were only, like, their only sales for this was direct to consumer. Yeah. Like, this wasn't a TV show that aired. This wasn't, like, this was just, like, by the VHS. But what I'm saying is now, right on the club, I feel like it's now much more of a lucrative opportunity because I don't you think have that, it on a subscription basis, right? Yeah, but I don't think that they would make, maybe they could charge more if they were making animated, but True. I don't think that they could... I. I don't think they can make it work. No, you're probably right. And I'm sure they, if they could and have, 10 they bucks would a have. Month, like, they're already expensive. But, yeah, I mean, that's so many more people. Would you, you rather get HBO hire. Max for $15 a month or the right. AIO fan club or for get $15 like a one, month? What would it be? Like, one video every six months on top? Uh, like yeah, they, I think they would no have to way. do it like a yeah. monthly video for it right. to. No, I, and there's no way that they could do that without. Yeah. Yep, I losing a ton of money. Right. I think yeah, I don't. I don't think they make. I don't think they make a ton of money off the club to begin with, and I think that that would really um, wreck them financially. <sighs> so what you're saying is they should do it. <laughs> sure, Andrew. <laughs> I think Focus on the Family deserves less money, so bring it on. Bring it on! Uh, yeah, so on that, what a dumb way to end this episode. Thanks for making me have a conversation about that, Andrew. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in, in another couple weeks with, with another uh, candid commentary. Until then, uh, have a good one, and uh, I, I'm going to stop the recording. You cool with that, Andrew? No.